Um, all right. Um, you know, obviously a tough weekend. You know, you got to tip your hat to those guys. Um, I mean, they pitched their tails off. They had some really, really good arms. I mean, man, it's tough to think that we, we've seen a better pitching staff than that one this weekend. Um, but at the end of the day, we just got to offensively have tougher at bats. I just thought we swung at some bad pitches, took, you know, obviously struck out looking too many times. Guys on scoring position today. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously it's tough. You know, we, they did a great job. They get the two home runs. They get a great uh, insurance run there with two outs. Um, you know, they steal a base and get and get a, and get a clutch hit. And you know, we did we did a lot of the same thing. Put ourselves in those situations. Just couldn't get that clutch hit. So, you know, it sucks because you know we feel like we're you know three four pitches away from from sweeping this week. Um, but you know, when you're playing a really really good team, I mean, that's that's what happens. You get down to to who wins the most pitches um, and who wins the big pitches. And they, they just did a much better job of winning those pitches than we did. Um, again, I thought AJ, I thought AJ managed the game really, really well. Didn't have nearly as good a stuff as he did last week against Ole Miss, um, uh, but managed it, was able to, to make big pitches when he needed to. Um, you know, obviously they just did a great job on, on a couple of those. And Litchfield came in and did a great job in the, in the bullpen. And again, they just, able to get the big two out hit. And that was the theme of a lot of the weekend was they were able to get the big hit and we were not, uh, we put ourselves in some good situations. You know, I'm proud of the kids for, you know, on Friday and Sunday, just competing all the way to the last pitch, had a chance to tie and win games in the ninth. Um, you know, obviously Jordan Rathbone, I thought had a, had a really good game today with two hits and, and a great catch in, in right field. Uh, Jeffrey, you know, obviously had three stolen bases, which was huge. And again, put us, put us in scoring position and, um, you know, that's, that's our offense. We just have to have the big hit and somebody has to, you know, step up and, and find a way to knock those guys in when we had it. So no, we just weren't able to do that much of the weekend. So, you know, told the kids afterwards, we just, we just got to keep working. You know, this is again, every, every team's path is different. This isn't the same path as last year. We're not the same team. It's not going to be the same, um, journey. Um, it, it's all, um, unique to each individual group of guys. And, um, Obviously, we know we're nowhere where we thought we were going to be, um, but we just got to we just got to find a way to get better. Just got to keep grinding, keep keep getting after it in the cage, keep working, um, keep doing all the things that we're doing, um, put ourselves in, in in good situations, and you know we got to again great teams win one run ball games, and um, that, that that's the difference between an average team to a good team or a good team to a great team is being able to win the close games, um, and, and we got to find a way to be better at that, tougher at that. And, you know, if we can, if we can figure that out, then the season turns around. So um, we'll just keep working and, and trying to find ways to do that. Coach, you talked about the strikeouts looking, and obviously they do have a good, really good pitching staff. But do you feel like your guys need to simplify their approach when things aren't going as well as they have been? Yeah, I mean, it's just pitch. It's swing decisions and, and pitch recognition, right? Like um, we talked about it all day yesterday, worked on it in the cages. Um, just being able to go out there and, and swing at strikes and take balls. Um, and again, I just, I just didn't think we, you know, did a good enough job of that today. So, um, you know, definitely again, we, we, we have scouting reports. We know what guys are going to try to do um, and, and we got to be able to execute the game plan. Um, and, um, you know, being able to, to either fight off pitches and get to the next one, you know, even if they're on the, on the, you know, on the corners or on the edges, wherever it is, like, we got to be able to fight, fight off pitches and, and wait till they make mistake, get back into good counts and, and then be able to do damage. Um, so, um, you know, again, just, just being able to have better approaches, uh, better swing decisions, um, you know, just been the theme of, of, the, of the games on Friday and, and kind of carried over to today. So we just got to keep working, uh, figure out a way to get better at it. Coach, talk a little bit more about AJ. It feels like the, you have a good chance to win every Sunday with him out there. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, he's just done a great job of giving us a chance to win games. Um, just being able, obviously, especially, you know, he's matched up really, really well um, from terms of, you know, being left-handed dominant lineups with his changeup and, and sink and being able to, to, to keep him off balance. So, you know, three lineups that have really suited him really, really well. Um, but he's done a great job of competing and managing and, um, again, giving us that, that, that veteran presence of, 
you know, not letting the home runs affect him, just being able to go back and win the next pitch, get out of some jams, be able to execute when he needed to. Um, you know, if any pitcher that can go six innings and two runs, I'll take it, um, especially on Sundays. Uh, so he's done a great job. Um, you know, very, very proud of him and, and being able to do the things that he's been doing to help us win games. Coach, did any part of this past four games feel at all like a hangover from the successful weekend you guys had at Old Miss? Um, I don't know. It's tough to tell. Um, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, guys, you know, make mistakes and, and you do a good job and sometimes they, they, they don't make enough mistakes. So, um, you know, it's just two different teams. And I think that has something to do with it too. You know, um, they have – you know, Ole Miss came out with a lot more fastballs. These guys come out with a lot more breaking balls and off-speed stuff. So, um, you know, I, I just think that it's being able to understand, I mean, this is a dance with the other team and the other coaching staff. And what are we trying to do to adjust to them? And what are they, are they trying to do to adjust to us? And whether that's from watching the game film from one week to the next, um, you know, I mean, I, I thought, again, those guys, those guys play pitched. I mean, that guy today, you know, had two and two-thirds innings and, struggled to throw strikes and um, man, he came out and, and pumping a lot of, a ton of breaking balls um, early in the count behind in the count, throwing them for strikes. The first couple of innings, his kind of command got to him a little bit later in the game and we did a much better job of, of making him throw strikes. Uh, but I thought in the first inning he comes out and he's 92, 96 with an 83 mile an hour curveball. Like you, you don't see that very often in college. Right. So, um, and again, if you do see it, it's usually guys that can't throw strikes. And I thought they just did a great job of adjusting, whether it's coaching or whatnot, game planning from last last week, getting better. Obviously, the warm weather probably helped them, too. They played in some some really cold weather the last couple of weeks um, and obviously the warmth. But their guys upticked in velocity. They they were they threw way more strikes than um, we, we predicted um, through way more off speed stuff than we predicted. So, I mean, they did a great job of adjusting to what probably they saw on video, plus them getting better and, and a couple of weeks into it. Um, so you know, I don't know if it's really hangover. It's just knowing that, Hey, you just can't go out and just think that the same things are going to happen every week in terms of whether it's wins and losses, or it's just how people are going to pitch you. Um, like they're, they're going to adjust and you have to be able to adjust back. And um, you know, so I, I don't know how much of it's hangover and how much of it is just us needing to do a better job of understanding that people aren't going to just attack us the same way every single week. They're going to be watching game film um, and what that's pitching and hitting. And we got to, we got to, we got to do the same thing and adjust. And, and, you know, when, whether that's uh, outing to outing game to game, or whether that's inning to inning, whether that's a bat to a bat, whether that's pitch to pitch, like um, this is a game of adjustments, constant cat and mouse back and forth, um, trying to figure out guys, strengths, weaknesses, and avoid, and then what are your strengths, weaknesses, and then trying to, you know, pitch accordingly or hit accordingly. And, and so we just got to understand that, um, you know, there's not one way to do things and, and we got to be able to be able to handle that, being able to, whether that's beat a different type of pitching staff or offensively different, different type of hitters. Like you got to be able to make adjustments and, and, and execute, execute at bats, execute win pitches and, and obviously execute pitches on the mound. Coach, are, are you, are you concerned at all? Just kind of where the mindset of the team, right, is coming from just, you know, with a high at Ole Miss and then coming home and getting swept and obviously starting the season slow. Are you, you kind of worried about where the team is? These are players that haven't really been, been used to losing like this. Yeah. And I think that, you know, this is the big question that we didn't have last year was we just things were going so well. We had never hit adversity with this, with any of these kids. So I mean, these guys that are still freshmen from last year, uh, they have the experience of, of being able to be a part of the games, but they've, they've really never experienced failures or, 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 you know, ruts in the season and just um, um, bad streaks kind of thing. So, um, you know, I think that some of this is just the growing process of, we know we've never experienced this as a group. Um, a lot of these young guys have never experienced this type of failure, whether it's personally or as a group. And, and how do you get out of that? And how do you find ways to, to grind through and, and get through it and um, get to the next pitch and get to the next inning, get to the next game and, and be tough. Um, so, um, you know, we, we've got to be better at that. And this has got to be a learning experience that hopefully, you know, we, we've played one of the toughest schedules in the country these, these last three weeks. So uh, it's been very, very challenging. And so, which is good, you know what I mean? As long as we can handle it mentality wise and understand not to panic or hit the, you know, hit, hit, hit the panic button and, and red light and, and what we use in our terms, like, we just got to keep working and, and keep understanding that the last three weeks are preparing us for what's about to come. And, 
Um, we just got to get to the other side of it. And the only way we know how to do that is, is, is to practice and get better and, and really dive, dive into the to video and, and working on our, our strengths and weaknesses. And so um, definitely a learning experience for this group. So uh, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see how the next, you know, three weeks go on how we handle it. And, um, can we get on the other side of some of these, these tough, tough games and figure out a way to, to win um, and get us rolling a little bit before we get into conference. Nature of the scheduling this season, you're going to see a lot of North Florida over the next week, home and away. Talk about the challenges of this upcoming series. Yeah, I mean it's all it's all challenging. Again, uh, you know they went in and, and uh, beat Georgia pretty good on on Friday. Um, so again, they're going to be they'll be tough tough games, and um, we got a lot of a lot of work that we need to do in the next couple of days and uh, get prepared for for a, a big a big week, a four game series. You know. Um, a lot of the games, it's again, this is where the cat and mouse gets really into it as being able to see guys a lot more, uh, more, you know, uh, at bats and more innings and seeing bullpen guys and doing all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, it'll be good. Um, at the plan as of now, nothing between now and tomorrow or, you know, the next couple of days, uh, you know, Kenny should start the game on Wednesday. So we'll have him back, which is going to make us a little deeper. Um, you know, it'd be good to see him go out there and throw a couple innings in relief and really start to build, um, you know, his, his arm strength and, and the pitch count before we get to conference and, um, you know, be able to have, again, one more arm in the bullpen. But, um, you know, we'll see how Romano feels. He started running today. So hopefully we get him back and, and get him going. Cause again, I just offensively, you know, guys aren't, aren't playing up to their, what we know that they can do. So guys are just, again, struggling and uh, we got to get Romano going and obviously Archer's got to be better. And, um, you know, really the bottom of our lineup, um, you know, just, we just got to get more consistent and get some, some run production out of those guys and, and do that a bunch of different ways. So um, we go, we'll have a good day of practice on Tuesday and, um, you know, come out Wednesday ready to go.